remember we marched in our thousands and thousands up Princess Street to the consulate, back down Princess Street to the First Minister's residence. We had the streets of Edinburgh today and we were here today because the actions, the murderous criminal actions by the Israeli state on Monday meant there was nowhere else we would be today. Nowhere else we could be today than here in our thousands representing the majority of people I believe in every community, in every workplace, in every school, in every college in Scotland. And we're here today because on Monday marked a turning point. I arrived in George Square in Glasgow because that's where I live. Many of you would have arrived in the local squares where you live in Dundee, Edinburgh, Aberdeen, Banff. And we looked to each other and we said, can you believe it? Can you believe what they have done? And many of us couldn't believe it. But we were there on Monday and we're here today because what they have done, the murderous Zionist racist Israeli state has made the unbelievable, believable, sadly believable, not content with the criminal barbaric blockades, the criminal collective punishment of a people whose only crime is to resist, to demand justice and to elect whoever they like, not content with using the military to turn back people, to deny medical treatment, not content to force pregnant women to give birth in the streets with no medicine, no health care, not content to shoot men, women and children indiscriminately for demanding justice, not content with that, not content because that has never stopped the resistance. They turned to commandos, to piracy in international waters, to people bringing humanitarian aid. And if they are prepared to do that, our message today is what are we prepared to do? What are we prepared to do to demand justice? And I'll tell you another thing. There are demands from today's demonstration. The Israeli embassy should be shut down now. Every Israeli so-called diplomat should be expelled from Scotland, the UK, now! Because when they acted on Monday with commandos to shoot 30 bullets into nine humanitarian aid workers, they no longer, even before that we knew it, but it's wide to the world, they have no claim on democracy, on human rights, on legitimacy. Get rid of every so-called diplomat. Get them out. And the other thing is, over the next few weeks, we'll be told a lot about South Africa. We should remember South Africa. The South African racist apartheid state was smashed. And we need to have the same commitment, courage, creativity, and international links to get rid of the Israeli racist criminal Zionist state. And we can do that together. The campaigns here, the trade unions, the members of the Scottish Parliament, the members of the Parliament, we need action. So over the coming days and weeks, we need to say as a movement, it's not what you say, representatives. It's not what you say, it's what you do. When are the Israeli ambassadors going to get kicked out? When is the embassy getting shut down? When are we going to have sanctions in Israel? And that's why we're here today. So look around you, take the message back to your college, your school, your workplace, your community. Sanctions, boycott, free Palestine. Sanctions boycott. Sanctions boycott. Sanctions boycott. Sanctions boycott. Sanctions boycott. Thank you, Angela.